I am very happy. Woo! A little bit of extra power from racing line definitely helped. Um, wow. Yo, yo, whatever, everybody. Back for another one. We got autocross today down at Pungo. It's, uh, it's a small course, like uh, if you guys remember the other videos from this venue. You go around it basically twice and you're done. It's not too um, technical, but uh, there is some, some real tight spots. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, changes from last time, we just added the uh, racing line power control module, which adds maybe like 30 horse, but in this heat, probably not a whole lot of power due to heat soak. But then, uh, as soon as Do88 releases that intercooler, we will have that. But uh, so the last event was at an airstrip, and I had my dad with me, and so I really wasn't focusing on driving as hard as I could because it, it was just Father's Day, and we were just having a ball together. So this event, like last night, I was getting into my own head in a good way that I need to get back to my old ways where I'm blasting some like August Burns Red before the before my run, get my heart rate up, and really drive aggressively so that's today's goal is to just beat the shit out of this car and have a good time uh next event we'll have the verkline subframe and arms installed uh more camber more caster more rigid better steering feel uh less engine movement with the uh, um upgraded dog bone bushing and uh yeah it's gonna be a little bit of uh learning how to drive the car again next event but uh yeah, we're gonna get out here. It's gonna be like damn near. It's gonna be the hottest autocross day of the year so far for me. And I mean, it's it's not even nine o'clock yet, and I'm like drenched in sweat. So we get out here, get some air, and uh, I'm the last run group of the day too. So it's gonna be brutally hot. I'm not looking forward to uh, dealing with the heat, but let's get to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's our run group for today. Lots of quick cars out here. I think the record right now is like a 34 and uh, one of the guys in a Porsche. He's usually FTD anyway, so I don't think anybody will be getting down that low in our run group at least, but you never know. This guy's super fast. This thing's super nice. I want one of those. I want one of these. I love this. I like that. Would love to have one of these. We just finally did some uh, springs and sway bar, some other things in this, so we'll see how fast he gets. And we got the Rick here, who we're all trying to beat. This all track is just ridiculous. Unsuspecting and very brutal. This thing's wild. This thing's wild too, they had to put a new motor in it since last event. It's badass. So is this thing. You know, I'll ever see RX-8s out. Speaking of never seeing things, you guys know I love this Celica. You've been watching the videos. Beautiful. I used to want these wheels so bad. You're good, you're good. You're way good. This is not professional by any means. Then you got my slow car. To really push it today. I gotta remember, I stay on that throttle. Don't pussyfoot around. Let's get the job done. Forgot my sprayer, so shout out to Steven if you're watching this. I think that's your name, Steve or Steven. And the fast guy in the Porsche let me use his water because I forgot mine. So shout out to him. S3. On deck. Thirty-seven on the first lap. My goal is a thirty-six. That was a thirty-seven-two. Definitely room for improvement. Car feels great. Mm. 
run number four. Like Forgot to put the rain. GoPro on the outside. We're on run four. <sighs> We're gonna kill this shit. Let's go. than what I'd like. It's a little bit more caster and camber. Let's see what we got here. Thank you. Dang. So close. That's 70. 37. 293. My best was 37.2 something. So this last lap, hopefully we can make up that last little bit. One of 36. Damn it. 36, 535 as he slows down just a tick. As Mr. Simmons heads out from the better. Yeah. Thirty-sixty, got it. On the last lap, that never happens for me anymore. I never have my best lap on the last lap. Very, very happy. And we're coming out now. Next time, more camber, more whatever it's called. Oh, I'm gonna get monetized. Shout out to August Burns Red for getting my blood pumping. The Messengers album, my shit's old and it is gold. I am pumped. I am very happy. Whoo! A little bit of extra power from Racing Line definitely helped. Um, wow. Still, I mean, the, the lag time from full throttle to like actually getting some power down to the ground, it, it needs to be fixed. I don't necessarily need more power, but I need my power down lower. Um, and with the downpipe, usually it gets away some of that, I wouldn't say turbo lag, but it's, I don't know. Whatever it is, a tune usually fixes it. Um, temp stayed great. I'm coming off a track at like 130-ish oil temp and sitting here with the AC on, fans running, drops down to 220. And uh, yeah, I'm happy. Just very, very happy. Very happy. That's it, next time we'll come out, more camber, more caster, uh, way more rigid front end in general. Um, that subframe should do a lot for us. That tie roll sport, um, dead set locking kit did wonders for my Golf R. And I didn't even really expect it to change any type of steering feel. I just wanted the subframe, you know, to be locked into position to have my camber even, which is another thing it'll do because I'm running my 0.2 more camber on one side than the other on this car. So, um, yeah, I'm stoked. This was uh, a very good day. Very, very good day. <laughs>